So here's a question from Mark. He says, what's up, everybody? So I have a lead that wanted an estimate for a group of 32 uh, people for five hours. I quoted her for a five-hour block in which she replied it was way overpriced. Got her quoted, and she says she found someone offering a six-hour block about $800 cheaper. Her max budget was is $1,200, the same price the other company offered, even with incentives. Is this a dead lead for a close? No, it is not a dead lead for a close. Now, we have to keep in mind, guys, that what we're offering is extremely unique to what they are out here searching for. So she is searching for a party bus for a group of 32. So if she's saying that she's she can get it $800 cheaper somewhere else, that means emphasis was not put on the irresistible offer. She doesn't see that she's getting all of these additives. You guys, y'all understand that? She's not understanding that she's getting the additives. She's only thinking about the party bus. Of course, you're going to get the party bus itself cheaper somewhere else, but you're not going to get the deal that we talked about. You're not going to be able to get 10% off all future <laughs> trips. And the fact that your relatives will be able to use that discount as well is worth what we're asking for right now anyway only time they will be paying full price let me uh, let me do something real quick hold on have to mute all because i'm hearing a lot of stuff in, in the eyes background okay all right so that's the only time that you'll be paying the the price right so now if you guys are just trying to get your first deal then don't worry about it you understand if you're trying to get some more real reviews or or something like that then cover enough so where you can cover the cost of your lead and then be able to get her review and everything like that. But if you need the money, guys, put emphasis on what is being added. Now, sometimes they'll come back and say, well, I don't want the vacation. I don't want the, how much will it be without all of the incentives and all of that extra stuff? And then that's literally when you'll have to make that deal with your partner. So we do our best to not have to do what Groupon does. Groupon makes them, pretty much forces them to uh, cut into their regular prices. So let's say she said her, her max budget is $1,200, okay? So let's say that partner that you have quoted her $1,200, like, you know, right on the dot. You then would have to get that partner to agree to give you a percentage. Now, that's still not difficult because you're the one that brought the job to them, right? So what you want to do now, this is how you solve that problem. Tell your, you tell her, you tell the lead, yes. And this is why you want multiple partners. You tell the lead, yes. And then you reach out to your partner. You say, have, uh, what, what do you want? A thousand bucks or 1100 or whatever, blah, 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 for this trip. I know you usually do 1200. I need you to accept this trip at this thousand bucks just this time right here. That's what you do. That way you can get your 200 or or whatever you want to do, guys. This is this is your business. Remember that, guys. So whatever you need to be able to cover the cost of your lead or be able to be in the green or be able to get you some profit, that's how you want to price it. But that's the only way to get around when a person says, well, what if I don't want the incentives? Because you're going to get that. You're going to get the people that say, well, what if I don't want the incentives? Then you very much well cannot still charge an extra five, 600. If they don't want the complimentary vacation, if they don't want the $300 restaurant voucher, if they don't want the, uh, the car rental incentives, if they don't want the entertainment coupons, all of that extra stuff that we give them, if they don't want that, you can't force them to have it. So since you're going to have to take that away, make sure you're making it clear, though. Don't just, like, cut the price because then in their head, they're still thinking, yeah, I won and I still get to get, you know, no, 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 no. Let them know. Okay, well, in order for me to lower the price a bit, ma'am or sir, I'm going to have to remove a few of the things. That means you won't be able to get 10% off all future trips now you might think that doesn't mean anything now but somebody's birthday is going to come up again and i would be your connection to all of these discounts 
somebody's going to be upset that you won't be able to get them that complimentary vacation. Because this doesn't just apply to you, sir or ma'am. This applies to whoever comes through you. So the vacation thing, the restaurant thing, the car rentals, the hotel, all of that applies to whoever you bring to me, ma'am. So do you really want, are you really prepared to turn this down over a couple extra dollars? So now, if they still say, yeah, I just don't want all that extra stuff. Cool. Like I said, that's when you say, okay, your budget is $1,200. I'll agree to that. Only if you say yes now. If they say, okay, where can I pay? You collect that payment. You don't hesitate. You collect the payment. Then you get the fulfillment. This is why you guys are like, you're, as soon as you get in, you're supposed to have you a list of partners, a list. That way you can take that, uh, uh, take that 1200 to a partner that's cool with you. That is, a, uh, you know, they're appreciative. They appreciate that you're bringing them free money. So you'd be like, yo, Joe, um, I know normally I don't cut into what you get. But this person was short, uh, but it is easy money. They only need, the, need it for this amount of hours. I can give you a um, thousand bucks, right? But don't worry. I'll give you more on the back end of the next one. Make sure you throw that in there. On the next one, I'm going I'm to make up for this one, right? Because everybody's not going to be like this person right here that says, yo, all I have is this, that, this, that, this. Take off the incentives, take off all of that. Extra. Everybody's not going to be like that. So you get your partner to agree to the thousand, you keep the 200. And then on the next, uh, the next booking, you get them what they was short this last time. Boom. Now y'all back in the green. You're good. So that's literally how you solve that. That's one way that you solve this without losing this deal. So if you're watching this right now, Mark, the recording, or if you're on her live, don't lose this deal. Don't lose on any of them leads. If you have to quote them at what the uh, normal range is for, for the rest of the people, we can always get them back later. Do not forget that. So your partner is, is supposed to be your partner for a reason. You make your list of your partners. You're supposed to know which ones are the ones that are flexible. Hey, I'm about to be sending you a whole bunch of people. You ain't paying for these leads. I got to cover the cost of these leads. So be flexible with me, pause, okay? So this person right here, I'm only able to give you a thousand. All right, they have a five hour block, but guess what? I'm going to shave off my profits to give you what you need on the next go round. Okay, so that is how you solve that one. Now, let's say that your partners, because I got to make sure you guys, I got to make sure this is thorough and you are you don't leave here without like the absolute clarity, guys. This is going to be the most thorough session we had. Why? Because we got people making money. So I know it's not that this doesn't work. Okay, you're seeing it in the groups. I see y'all. I could Facebook shows me when y'all see stuff. So you see people making money. Now, why aren't you? So let's just go ahead and make sure you guys are making money, no matter what. So what do you do with this lead? He asks, is this a dead lead for a close? All right. So none of your partners are gonna take you a thousand bucks. Let's just say that. So what do you do with this lead? Woo -wee. This is why I'm so happy I have all these years of experience. You convert to a different business model. A business model that some of you guys might have heard of before called lead generation. So you're going to flip and do the exact same thing that Thumbtack is doing. What do I mean? One lead comes in, five, six, seven different people get the same damn lead. So instead of you losing money on this lead that you paid for, 12, 14, 20 bucks or whatever, you take this same lead. Now you go to Google, you call every single one of those party bus dudes in the city and you give them that same lead. Why? So that they can hear the annoyance in the voices of the leads. They're going to call those leads. The leads are going to say, all right, I already booked with the last guy that called. So now that's going to pop up in their head that, oh, so Mark does this. So Mark must have more leads. Okay, well, what do I have to pay Mark to give get him to be exclusive to me and only give me leads that just come straight to him? So now when a lead comes in and you can't convert that lead, you're going to charge each one of those partners from the city that's not exclusive to you a small amount, small enough to where they're not flinching at it. 
And the only person that you'll charge higher for that lead is the person that uh, paid you for exclusive leads. So either way it goes, you get paid. So for example, the lead comes in at 12. Most of you guys have been sharing your screen with me and the leads have been coming in for like 12, 14 bucks, something like that, all right? So the lead comes in, 12 bucks. You're gonna take that same lead. You're gonna give it to everybody, all right? After you've given them maybe three leads, all right, you gave them a big enough sample. You collect their credit card information. Not so you can go on a Walmart shopping spree so that every time a lead comes in, you can automatically charge them the same way Thumbtack automatically charges you. And they're used to that. They're accustomed to it because they're on Thumbtack just like you are. <laughs> so you don't have to even train them. So you collect all of their information. So you got four or five, six different people's credit card information. You send them a lead whenever you get a lead that doesn't convert. You collect that $12 from them, 12 times six, seven, or five different people, you do the freaking math. Now you done made crazy cake off of one damn lead. So if it doesn't convert, you don't have to cry a river like Justin Timberlake. You literally can go and get more money. Now, let's talk about what that's doing to them. That's also building up a reputation for you and credibility, okay? So now you're known as the person that picks up the phone or emails them leads all the damn time. So now you can convert into the agency to partner business model and start building the, dis the digital twin for them. If you guys have been ch checking out the channel lately, you know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm talking about where you clone their offline ass assets and build new online assets. You own 100% of the online assets and you get a percentage of the offline assets. You also get a percentage of profit share and then you get a percentage of equity. So if they were to sell the business a little bit later, you participate in the spoils of that. So just you warming up the buttermilk by sending them the leads, leads that they weren't even expecting, will create this partnership environment, okay? So when you approach them later, like, yo, I've been sending you leads for maybe two weeks now, uh, some of them exclusive, some of them not. How would you feel if we just made this exclusive? They're gonna say, okay, okay. Well, uh, how much is that gonna cost me up front? Well, you could charge them a setup fee, like Samantha, Samantha's on here, she, uh, I think she, she yeah, she got $10,000 uh, on Monday. All right, for a setup fee for two of them, $10,000, right? But uh, let's say that they don't want to do a setup fee or they start trying to back out. If you're going after the right companies, the companies that are all ready making money, that's why we like this business model. They're already making money. Now you, you have enough trust, all right? Fine. You can't pay me up front, at least agree to allow me to plug in the 10 monetizations, okay? These 10 monetizations are going to be painless, for them, effortless, and majority of them cost less for them. So as soon as you start plugging in those 10 monetizations, you start making money whether they pay you or not. You literally become a part of their business. All right, so that is what you can use these so-called dead leads for. You're using them as bait. You're using them to build trust because even though you weren't able to convert them, that does not mean those dudes offline or, or over there on Google or somewhere else won't be able to get them to go ahead and say, okay, yeah, let's do it. So now in the back of their mind, they're like, damn, Mark just sent me a job right here and I ain't even have to pay him. You know what I'm saying? Like, so now you got like, like you're in with them. You're in with them. So that's what you do with your leads, guys. Some of you guys got about five, 10, you know, five, 10 freaking leads in there that, and you haven't even got your first, you know, copy and paste or AKA drop servicing commission yet. And you're just sitting there with the leads and in, inside your thumbtack, you know, with your head down, like, oh man, I thought this was going to work out for me. But check this out. Go inside thumbtack, go to each one of those leads, uh, check the date on them, make sure their event haven't passed yet. So for all of the leads that uh, where the event has not passed yet, write all of those leads down and literally just thundercat slap all of those party buzz dudes in that city with those leads. Don't do it all at once. Call once, give them the lead. Call three minutes, 
later and say, oh, I got another one. Give them that lead. Call four minutes later. All right, another one came in. Give them that lead. Even though they've been stacking in your account, they don't know that. So it's like, damn, you're creating the impression that this dude just gets leads all freaking day. So now you're speeding up the association between you and success, okay? You wanna make that connection as rapidly as possible, okay? So go and get all your so-called dead leads, contact the people that's not your partners yet and slap the hell out of them with those leads. Guess what? You already paid for them. So it's not gonna hurt you. It's not like you finna go and create a Facebook ad and generate them some new leads. Go slap them with those leads so that you can get them as partners and convert them to, you know, the, the, you know, so you can start building a digital twin. You can start making way more money than just doing one-off drop servicing deals, okay? So for an example, this one came in, they paid a total of $32. What is this for? I don't even know what this is for. Let's just say it's like a handyman lead or something like that, man. I go to Google, Google all of the handyman in that town, and hit them up. Hey, yo, this is just in. This is just in. This is just in. Hey, you want some more of them? Hey, oh yeah, you ain't got to pay me nothing up front. I, they, I already got everything set up. I just want a cut when you go and do the job. Also, I'm going to build you a new website. Is it going to be a templated website? You ain't got to tell them that. So I'm going to give you a website. You don't have one. All right. You're going to also be able to save money on payment processing fees. I'm about to hook you up with that. You're going to also be able to get new equipment and everything like that that you don't have to pay for out of pocket. I'm going to hook you up with that. This is what we teach in the agency to partner. And guess what? You get a cut on everything that we just said. 10 different monetization methods. That's what Samantha doing right now. That's what Samantha is setting up right now. She's about to set up their payment processors at both gyms. She's about to have their website hooked up. She, uh, they're going to have all of that information on the website. Man, come on, y'all. Come on. Don't trip. Your, these leads that you guys haven't been able to close, these are gold mines. They're your way in to all of the partners that you want. Because if you contact them right now and say, yo, I want to get you as a partner. I'm doing this thing called agency to partner. I'm not a marketing agency. I want to like buy into your business with value. They're going to say, shut the hell up. Get out of here. But if you approach with value, I call it, I come bearing gifts method. The I come bearing gifts method. If you approach with that, now they want to hear what you got to say. Because they like, who is this dude or this gal that came out of nowhere growing my business for me when I ain't even asked them to? <laughs> All right, somebody say, Samantha said I sound like a little school boy. Okay, so yeah, you know, just in case y'all don't get it yet. For the last three years, Bruno has been doing just this. He has a website in a construction niche where he partnered with people. So like, yo, he's making like around $10,000 a month just off AdSense with that. That means if he, even if he don't do a damn thing, even if he don't do a damn thing, he's making $10,000 a month off of AdSense. He haven't even added like affiliate products or none of that extra stuff like that. Just AdSense. Now, also, when a lead comes in, he can sell the lead if it's out of his, uh, you know, jurisdiction, if we want to call it that, because he's building it to a national site now. But he can also, when that, uh, when when it closes, or like you get a sale or somebody go out to do the job or some, some of these jobs be like twelve thousand damn dollars. So that, I'm saying that to say I know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm trying to teach y'all what actually works. So if you trust. Right. The Bible says, trust no man. I get it. Don't trust the man. Then don't trust me. Trust formulas, trust laws. I don't experiment on you guys. I only teach you what I have done, still do, and that others do that are making money. TT got money in less than an hour the same day she had a one-on-one -on -one session with me. This stuff works, man. All right, so now I have to show you guys something that's happening with Justin. Justin is on here. He got the one-on-one -on -one session, so we're still in the middle of setting some stuff up, working out some kinks with Google. Google got issues. Google got mad issues with their lead forms and all of that. But anyway, I'm rambling. All right, but he set up a Facebook ad, and uh, he sent me a screenshot. I blocked the number out, man. All right, he sent me a screenshot of what came in from the Facebook ad, and I just want to show you guys opportunities so that you can stop fixating on things that might initially appear as a loss 
and start realizing games when you see them and dive in it, dive in it like Trey Songs. All right, pause. All right, so I said, send me a screenshot of the message because I, I, you know, when I talk to you guys and I help you guys set up on these one on ones, no matter if it's two, three a.m. in the morning, I want to know if they go active when they go live, and I want to know when your first lead come in. All right, so I told him to hit me up. So he hit me up. I said, send me a screenshot. He said he is trying to partner, says he is a DJ, and to send him some business cards. So this DJ, from what I gather, is trying to network and partner. Now, pay attention. Let me tell you guys why this is powerful. When I was in Wichita, Kansas, I was partnered with a DJ. He had a phone booth rental and what is it called? A, not a phone booth, a photo booth rental. He was a DJ and he had a limo service and I was helping him with all of that. So they're all intertwined. They're all tank, all intertwined in the inter, in what do they call it? Entanglement or something like that, right? They're all related. DJs, like it's all in the same niche. It's all in entertainment, guys. When people like want a bachelor party or when people want like uh, like proms and stuff, don't you realize bachelor parties are attached to party buses? Don't you realize that proms are attached to limos? So if you connect yourself with a DJ, this DJ can put the transportation, your transportation links on his DJ and website because a person that books a DJ has an event happening. Chances are you're not trying to pull up in your hoopty on your special day. So chances are normally how it would go, they would go to his site, book the DJ services, and then leave and go book transportation. But why do that when they can get it all on this DJ's website? He's reaching out for a reason. Hey, hey, I need business cards. Tell me your business cards. He saw your ad. He saw the incentives in your ad. He's wondering how the hell you can offer the $300 voucher. He's wondering how you can offer the complimentary vacation. He doesn't know how to do that stuff. So he's like, well, since I don't know that, he's smart. I'll leverage this guy to be able to offer these things with my DJing services. Guys, don't be afraid when someone is trying to use you. If you're not useful, you're useless. Don't forget that. All right. All right. So that's an opportunity right there. If I were you, I would reach out to this guy. If I was the rest of y'all, I would zone in on DJs. We're like, damn, okay, that's that's clever right there. That's endless leads for me for free. This dude put your button on his site. He put your contact information on his site. Like, dog, that's of course, of course, like, you know, people are gonna need transportation. All right. Now, all right, haven't made money yet? Fine. Pivot then. Some of you guys haven't made money yet in copy and paste rentals. Some of you haven't. Some of you guys been in here longer than Samantha. Some of you guys been in here longer than Shaquem. And you, you, you just seeing the posts and you're just getting like irritated every time you see someone's success posts. And you're like, what the hell is going on? How come that's not happening with me? Well, it could be a lot of reasons. This is what I, this is why I always ask you guys, are you showing action? Send me a screenshot. Let me see inside your Thumbtack account. Let me see the last couple of replies that you've given to a person that became a lead, right? Like, show me, man. Don't just complain. Show me that you're actually damn trying. All right, don't make me the bad guy. I want to know that you're trying because I never said I'm not going to help you. So for those of you who need help, I am here. Only into December 31st. And we'll talk about that in a second. All right, so haven't made money yet? Fine, pivot so we got Samantha right here. Samantha has been around since the, the middle finger, the black middle finger in the middle of my hat logo, Effajob. It used to be called Effajob, not anti-job. It was literally Effajob. That was the name of it, Effajob University. And she switched. So she got into copy and paste rentals. She was in there for like a couple of weeks or maybe a month before I got a message saying, yo, David, can y'all uh, cancel my subscription for copy and paste rentals? And I'm thinking that she's about to give up. I'm thinking that's it. Well, damn, she gave up. That sucks. I really wanted her to get results and stuff. Okay, so I went and canceled it. Next thing I know, I get a notification that she paid for an even higher program, which is the agency to partner program. It's not that much higher. It's only 200 bucks, right? 
But she, she paid for that instead. I'm like, okay, now I'm curious. I'm like, what made her like switch to that one instead of copying? She was already in this, right? Well, she resonated with what I was teaching in uh, an agency to partner program a lot more than in uh, copy and paste rentals. An agency to partner program, you're literally buying into these businesses without using money, okay? You become the third pause, third leg of these companies. Without you, they can't stand. They have to give you profit share. They have to give you equity after a while, right? So she was like, okay. I'm learning these skills instead of just doing these one-off like copy and paste, copy and paste drop service and deals, which I'm not down in it or whatever. Like, what if I could become part of these companies and get more for the skill set that I'm bringing to the table with these people? And that's exactly what she did. She literally switched to agency to partner, got straight in there. She showed me her notes. Come on, y'all. I don't want to hear it, man. She showed me. She showed me her notes and she take more notes. I'm like, is that, is that from my stuff? You know, what is that for like, she take, like, I'm like, damn, you got that from the class? She take notes, but she don't just listen like it's a YouTube video. There is no cash in without action. She hit, she went straight to a gym that she used to be a member of, a gym that she had issues with. She made them aware their issues, like how I teach you guys to do an expose method, right? That's how you get them. And they were, like she said, she said they were open to listen to her. Why? Because of reciprocity. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. You guys are stuck in the party buses. That's cool. But I taught you a business model that will work in any niche. You don't just have, you can do this with lawyers. You can do this with freaking STD clinics. You can do this with anybody. So if you would write down a list of all the companies that's currently taking money from you, they have reciprocity. They owe you at least a sit down or a listen to. And you can literally become a partner of theirs. Plug in the 10 monetization methods. And within a month's time, you're literally part of their business. But you're not on, you're not on, you're you're not an employee. They ain't got you on payroll, but you're getting paid though. Right? You understand? So, like, guys, there's so many ways you can make money with this stuff. Copy and paste rentals is simplistic, but agency to partner allows you to take this to the next level. You're trying to get to six figures per month. This is where she's headed now. This is where she's headed now. If you're trying to get to six figures per month, you can't just send them. Oh, well, I ain't going to say you can't. It'll just take longer for you to do it with the typical, uh, with the, the copy and paste rentals method, the way that you guys are doing it now. If you guys haven't started scaling to other cities, that's what I'm saying. Like you can get to six figures. Have you started scaling to other cities? Nobody is showing me that. I got people complaining, but how many of y'all have opened up another account in another city? How many cities do you have partners in? Within three months, I had limo service champs, three to six months, in seven different cities. And this is back when I was doing SEO, like manually, like just like staying up till I look like freaking Bugs Bunny with the sleepy eyes, grinding it out. Now y'all can literally just create some accounts. Y'all know more than I knew back then. Y'all can create some accounts in some different cities, start scaling up, getting leads in them different cities, partnering in them different cities, closing in them different cities. Or you can go to agency to partner program. You can take one partner, like maybe it's the partner that you already been sending jobs to. If you're watching this, Shaquem, you got all those bookings. If you're watching this, Afis, you got all those bookings. I would take that same partner that you've been sending these people to already, and I would let them know, listen, dog, let's partner up. I'm not just trying to send you leads. Your, Your site sucks. You're not properly monetizing it. You don't have any info pages on your site. What's on your thank you page? What's on your help desk page? What is on your email sequence? You don't even have an email sequence. When is the last time you sent people something through your SMS that's been previous customers of yours? They don't know nothing about none of this stuff, guys. They don't know nothing about none of this. So you can literally take these copy and paste rental partners that you have and turn one, two of them into six figures. Yo, when she heard this, when Samantha heard this, it was it. She was like, all right, I'm dropping. <laughs> she like, let me out. Let me out of copy and paste rental. Let me out. Started knocking on the door over there. I already had one foot in in agency to partner before she even left copy and paste rentals. So that's why this section 
right here is called haven't made money yet fine pivot okay so i'm not mad at you it's not giving up it's not like you just gonna go back to youtube and just watch a million freaking videos all damn day you're still going to be using the same skills that you learned and to copy and paste rentals only with steroids added to them on top of that Inside the agency department program, Curtis, Curtis is teaching the second section of the Cinderella equity. That's the Cinderella equity section. And he's bought businesses, sold businesses. He got like over 20 years experience of that type of stuff. So we combined my online knowledge with his offline and online knowledge of building, buying and selling businesses in agency to partner. And we've We've combined that to make it to where you can literally buy into businesses, any business you want that's, that's open to it, without a dime using the skill sets that you're already learning right damn now. It's just crazy to me. All right. <clears throat> can you give me some water, please? I'm tripping right now. All right. So we got some greats right here. Now, I wouldn't say I'm the greatest but I would definitely put myself among the greats. When you look at every single, or I'll just say 97% of my testimonials, even though I tell you, stop watching testimonials and become one. When you look at them, you'll notice one thing. Almost all of them got extremely rapid results. So when you put action, you're gonna cash in and it's not gonna take till next year. It's not going to take to, sometimes it don't even take to next month. TT got results same day. Uh, Kim got results within 24 hours. Keith on his first day, uh, within six hours, he made his first thousand dollars he ever made online with something. Who else? We got uh, Kim, like before those eight extra bookings and then booking up for months and stuff like that ahead. On his first day, a $2,800 lead came in. Uh, Hafiz, as soon as he implemented what I told him to. He got his first 1500 and then was booked up months ahead. Like, yo, yo guys, I am not the best at everything, but God makes you great at certain things. You guys didn't come to me for relationship advice, even though I've been married since 2013 and met her in 2007. So I guess technically you could, <laughs> but you didn't come to me for that. I still got a gut. So you didn't come to me to get fit. You came to me so that I can help you liberate yourself from the shackles and oppressions of nine to five plantations. You also came to me so that I can help you eliminate shiny object syndrome and information overload and finally get to the money, guys. That is what my job is and is working for a lot of people. What I've noticed, though, is over a period of time, I noticed that courses don't fit for certain people. And that is why, like I said above, if you haven't made money yet, fine, pivot. A lot of you guys have already pivoted to a lot of different courses, but you never had a damn coach because you see the price and you faint. But then you use the same money and you go put down on a hoopty that don't even ride off the lot. Okay, so, all right. My reason for saying this is because until December 31st, I am doing one-on-ones and I'm doing two-on-ones. Okay, two two-ones and one two-ones. I don't like on, I don't know who created that on stuff. Like I'm not touching no damn body. Two-to-ones and one-to-ones. Two-to-ones is me and Curtis. That's for those who are trying to be in the agency to partner program. One-to-ones one is still copy and paste rentals, whereas it's us. Okay, on these one-to-one -on -one 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 sessions, we have to answer anything you ask us that is business related though, right? Uh, we have to help you actually set it up while we're on there with you, not tell you here, this is what you do. All right, good luck. See you some other time. No, we're on there giving you keywords, giving you what you need for the ads, helping you publish, plug in, get the content for whatever you need, make the partnership, call to some of them. I even call and make the partnerships for you. Okay, so I am extremely lethal at what I do. One of the only so-called gurus who have been here since 2015. All your freaking Ty Lopez's and Billy Jean's marketings and all of these guys 
came, got more famous than me, and disappeared. So what I'm saying is Mike Jackson, Mike Jordan, Mike Tyson. There were people in the crowds at their concerts or at their fights, at their games. They had opportunities to be one-on-one with them. Maybe go heads up with Michael Jordan. Hey, you can do a one-on-one game, right? They turned it down. Now they have to watch his old games from the 80s or the 90s and be like, damn, I could have been in the picture playing one-on-one with Michael Jordan. I won the one, but damn, that memory would have been freaking awesome to have. Okay, same thing with Mike Jackson. Backstage. Oh, the backstage pass is too expensive. That's Yeah, yeah. But now you just got to watch Thriller video over and over. That's all you got to do. Now, that's all you have left. Watching Thriller and beat it on repeat. That's it. Mike Tyson. I'm not sure if you wanted to uh, train or practice with Mike Tyson back in the prime. But at least at least asking him some questions, what would you have given to be able to, if you were trying to be a boxer? I'm not talking about just as a fan, guys. If you were trying to be a singer, a dancer, a performer, like a let's say you were talented, you know what I'm saying, and you wanted to be a singer or something, what would you have given at that time to be able to go backstage, get some freaking dance moves or some critique? from Michael Jackson himself. If you were trying to be a basketball player, you were in high school at the time and you like, damn, I need to up it. I can actually go down there on the court and talk to Mike, have him work on my freaking jump shot with me and then go back to high school and beat the hell out of people, right? What would you have given at that damn time? What would you have given with Mike Tyson to like really like hone in and help you with the peekaboo method? Anybody know boxing, you know what the peekaboo, like, yo, if you could have slipped that into how you already work, dog, you would have killed everybody and got your golden gloves. You hear me? So I am not them, but at what I do, I am them. If you understand what I mean, I'm not the best at everything, but at what I teach and what I do, I haven't met anybody. I just haven't. So over the past week, I've been paying attention. I literally put out the opportunity for you guys that have not gotten results yet. For those of you making money, do your thing. Hey, You don't need me. I ain't forcing nothing. But if you made a commitment to get in the community, whether it's through copy and paste or agency to partner, and you have yet to get sales or make money, and you find yourself sliding back over there to watch webinars, (laughs) going right back into it, man, going right. How many times you going to do it? Right? Like, damn, ain't most of us 30, 40, 50? How many times? Right? So if you're shy away, if you shy away when you see a post giving you an opportunity, notice something different this week. Last week, it was 1500 My normal coaching fee is $5,000 an hour. That's what I charge businesses. I made it 1500 last week. This week, you might have seen something different. It says 25 freaking 100 now. I'm not playing no games. I'm literally trying to take people who have not been able to free themselves, but you gotta be serious. If you're that damn slave that get to the end of the field and say, well, but what what about when we get, you know, when we cross the, the state line? What about, what about them white people over there? Like, what's gonna happen when we get over there? Dog, but behind you, in the field you already in, you've been getting freaking whipped all freaking day. Your wife got ravished. One of your kids got sold off. You hear hear me? And you're like, oh, but in that field over there, it might be a a little bit scarier. Man, get out of that. Get out of that, man. What if you could finally just be done with that stuff? You can get the financial part over with. You're going to have problems in life, guys. I can't help you with your weight. You know, I I can't help you with your relate. You know, you ain't asked me to help you with your relationship. You ain't asked me to help you with your religion, but you did ask me to help you with your freaking finances. So if you're not going to trust me, guess what? It's a cancel button. If you're not going to put action to it, a lot of y'all are just sleeping in a group. Half of y'all don't even show up to the Q&As. What disappeared in? Disappeared. Many are called, few are chosen. I'm not mad at you. It won't be no hard feelings. I love y'all. But I only want to work with those who actually want to actually do something. Not just because you've seen some cool freaking YouTube video. How am I supposed to get y'all to where y'all can come to a mastermind if you can't even get to what? $10,000 a month. How am I supposed to get you to a mastermind with me, right? Like I got people I want to introduce y'all to. Some of you can't even pay your $97 a month. 
So why don't you just get it out of the way? Get a coaching session. Let me or me and Curtis help you set it all up instead of just like going through the course videos and you're like, all right, I'll try that tomorrow. I'm having a problem right here. Let me text David. I don't feel like texting David. What if he don't answer back? Let me do it. Let's just get, let's just do the coaching session. So right now, well, I got y'all on here. It's the coaching sessions. You get a three hour session. Mind you, like I said, 5K is what I usually charge per hour for businesses. You guys are not businesses. You are individuals. That's why I'm not charging $5,000 an hour. I understand. I get it. But guess what? You can be a business. So if you can ask any of these guys, this is Mike Jackson. He was just here. He was just practicing. Now he's gone. He's gone. December 31st, Laura's will. I mean, Lord forbid, I ain't trying to be gone like how Mike, you know, you know, Michael Jackson gone. But I will, I got to leave so that I can start building out the university. Anti-Job University is supposed to be a school, a school like Full Sail University, a university, of, like, an online actual school. I got to hire real teachers, not like math and science bull crap. I'm talking about like music production, um, you know, how to start, build your own restaurant, how to open your own fitness a business and get certified, like real teachers. Like I got to, I got, so I love coaching. I love this part right here, but you cannot be the CEO if you're still doing the janitor's job. And unfortunately, me personally coaching people and doing all this type of stuff, it would fit as the janitor's job. Like I, I don't have enough time to go and train and hire and bring teachers on and all of that stuff for the school. Like most of y'all haven't even been to the actual school website before. That's how caught up I am in doing this part. But I love this part. I love helping y'all. I love seeing the individual testimonials and the people winning like Samantha, like Shaquem, like Keith, you know, like Dijon. Dijon has one of the biggest helicopter rental companies in Atlanta. And he don't even own any of the freaking helicopters. I can't even count how many one-on-one -on -one sessions I've been on with him. So we got Mike Jordan. Which Mike Jordan is the most exciting to you? This guy right here? I mean, he still got some wisdom and everything, but I doubt if he finna even like get up and pass the ball to you. What if this dude was standing right next to you and you're a basketball player aspiring and you like, damn, if I could just have him show me like one or two moves. That's what we do in our sessions. A concentrated three hour session where I tell you everything, you get everything. I'm always telling y'all everything y'all want to know, but it's more concentrated and I actually help set you up with it. We got him right here too. Now, this guy right here, this is Dijon. That's the one I was just telling you about with the helicopters. Like I didn't even know he was going to go into that niche. But that's what I was saying. For those of you who are having issues with the party bus and limo niche, Use the same business model, but just go into a different niche. It works in every single service-based niche. Then we got Bruno. This is the one where I said for the last three years, he's been <laughs> making six figures from his, his construction site. Then we got Keith, which all of y'all know, Coach Keith, 140K in 90 days, and now he has his own coaching programs and everything. Then we got Bernard who got one-on-one -on -one coaching from me so many times that he's actually a partner of Anti-Job University. So come on, man. I, well, we got to get, get Jay-Z in here and hit y'all with the what more can I say? Right? So, what more can I say? You hear me? So I'm hoping, like, from the bottom of my heart, that this live Q&A session helped you guys. You understand? Like, if you've been stuck, if you haven't made any money, I gave you so many things that you can go and do right now. If you haven't made any money, you haven't closed any deals from your leads. So this is a recap. You haven't closed any deals from your leads. Use the leads the same way that Thumbtack do. Go and make all of them your partners and charge all of them for the leads. So when a lead come in to you that you don't close, you go and take it to them same people that's on this platform and off the platform and you resell it. Now, if you don't want to do that, you take this lead these leads that come in and you use it as the roll the red carpet out method. And you build the trust with these people enough to where they'll be a partner with you. And you go into the agency, the partner business model. 
All right, you can go and find agency to partner on the channel. The last couple of videos have been talking about it. Find it in the link in the description. Go in there and you can do exactly what Samantha just did to make 10 freaking thousand dollars right there. Okay, so that's what you can do with those damn leads, guys. Then what's the second thing we talked about? We talked about a different niche party bustlers could use to get partners for leads. Partner with DJs because they need transportation for their parties and everything. So you can be in the back pocket of a lot of different damn DJs. Then we talked about pivoting if you haven't made money yet. Same way that she did. She hopped from copy and paste rentals, not because she got signed the object syndrome, it's because she got clarity. She resonated. She was watching some of the YouTube videos where I was talking about agency to partner, like how you can buy into a business, get profit and equity share from the business without actually using money to buy into the business, but using your skills instead, plugging in the 10 monetization methods so that you can hit the six to seven figure mark. Finally, and then lastly, we talked about spending a little bit of time with me. In the future, I might have some type of like, um, what do you call them? Um, In-person mastermind or or yeah, retreat or some situation like that. Uh, I'm a little iffy because like, I really don't trust people like that to be in person with me, <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? I'm from Southside St. Louis. So just inviting like y'all cool online and everything, but like, you know, and I got a family and all of that. So I don't know when I'm gonna be able to do it, but it will probably be the Lords of Leverage uh, Mastermind. So that's gonna be something like, crazy. This is why I definitely need y'all to make money because the Lords of Leverage, you hear the title? Lords of Leverage is definitely not going to be some $5,000 mastermind. Sorry. Okay. But for now, you guys still have me all the way into December 31st. If you have yet to have a coach actually set things up for you and with you, then <laughs> you pay for the one-on-one -on -one session one time. You get me or you get me and Curtis, your choice. And you literally get it's set up with and for you. And you can finally just move on with the other parts of your life. Start building a relationship part, getting the health part right, getting God right, instead of still being stuck for 30, 40 years at the financial part. Because this is not all that matters. You can't buy your way into heaven. So get your money part fixed so that you can focus on the other parts. That's what I'm trying to help. Okay? So let me go and look into the chat and see... See. Okay, I'll start at the last thing Samantha said. Damn, I never thought of DJs. DJs are intertwined with high end high school and restaurants and banquet facilities. Exactly. Mark said, Congrats, Samantha. Inspiration and motivation. She said, Thank you. All right. And summarized it. Okay. Samantha said, I have two more meetings tomorrow night with two other businesses. Come on, man. You ain't playing. Huh? You ain't playing. And keep in mind, guys, this is not a marketing agency business model. These are going to be partners she's going to plug the 10 monetization methods into. Okay, so like she's already got two. So two more, like, yo, I really want y'all to focus. I want you to focus too. Don't go too fast. Like really build up with these ones that you have. So get these other two tomorrow and, and then really start trying to like move on when you plug in the 10 monetizations because the good thing about it is this not like you have to sit and be babysitting them? So just plug in the 10 monetization methods and then move on. And then it takes on a life of its own. So like the accounts will all start growing by themselves. Okay. All right. Uh, just from the other, the offer I gave the gym is already spreading like wow. Wow. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So you got those other two from the two that you already got uh, the other day that I already paid you. That's crazy. That's where it's at, y'all. Hey, that's, your net worth is determined by your network. Okay, she said, ha ha, hubby and I got married in 2007. Wow, okay. A guru that gives you the goods. He said, I remember Ty Lopez. <laughs> ah, Mike is going to hurt Jake Paul, Jake Paul, yeah, for sure, if they do it. Okay, Samantha said, you need to hire a coach that keeps them enthused about doing what they are doing, kind of like a hype coach. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to, it's not just going to go ghost in there, guys. I'm going to have someone replace me. They're not going to be like on a payroll because that'll be kind of hypocritical. I am anti-job. So these will be 
coaches that like will come on commission basis. Like I'll pay them like per week or per month or, or whenever, like contractual basis based off of demand. If you guys are actually getting results off of them and all of that extra stuff. So it's going to be actually exciting and everything. <laughs> okay. Nope. I said that I can only partner with 10 and I am done. That shows scarcity. Yes, Lord. Everybody put a hashtag, yes, Lord, in the chat if you got something from this session today. Let me know. 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 Mark said hashtag, yes, Lord. I was hoping so. I hope I cleared up what y'all can do with those dead le they They're supposed to be dead, but they're not really dead. They're just dead to you, meaning they, they just don't want your offer, all right? But they might still be looking if if the birthday or the, the wedding or the um, anniversary or whatever it is haven't happened yet, guys, they're still active. It's still a chance to monetize them. So you take them and you just start passing the mugs out. All right. Justin said, hashtag, yes, Lord. Clay said, hashtag, yes, Lord. Yo, I appreciate y'all that was on here live. You understand? Uh, <clears throat> hold on. Let me see that. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yo, I believe in every last one of y'all, man. I believe in every last one of y'all. I just believe sometimes we don't believe in ourselves enough. And I just believe sometimes we just need a little bit of clarity. And once you can lock down the belief, the clarity, and well, first of all, once you get the clarity, the belief kicks in. So this is why I still do these Q&A so that I can help y'all get the clarity. Because I know that once once it's clear to you, it's just, it, all right, it ain't going to make sense for you to not take action then. If you fully understand it, and believe it, then it, it, it'll be like stupid to not actually like go and make a move then, you understand? So I know guys, I know, I know, I know in my heart that y'all can do this and finally like just have it taken care of guys, okay? All right, so Justin, um, I don't know if they reached out to you, but I got to schedule you for, I'm going to check to see what, what they scheduled our, our session for tomorrow. Anybody else that want a session, I'm going to type it in the chat, okay? I'm going to type it in the chat. Justin paid it, so I'm not telling y'all to do something. Nobody else did it, okay? The number is 407-390-4126. Y'all should already have it. Okay, so Justin, is 1, one o'clock central tomorrow. Okay, good. Okay, guys, like, listen, take advantage. Those of you who showed up, I can see you. Those of you who are watching this replay, I can still see you. Ooh. I know if you're taking action or not, okay? Like, dog. But guess what? Even worse, you know if you're taking action or not. Your mama know if you're taking action or not. Your kids know if you're taking action or not. Your bill collectors know if you're taking action or not. So I put that number in there. I put it in there. Next week, it goes to 3,500. I'm slowly creeping back up to 5,000. The reason is, am I money hungry? No, but I see that you guys see me when I'm trying to help you. And then you just go on with your day like it doesn't matter. I will not be ignored when I'm really trying to help people change their life. You're not going to put me on a back burner and treat me as if it's nothing when this can change your damn life, your life, guys, your life. This is why Justin went on ahead and paid it. You think he wanted to just toss out a 1500 I don't know his expenses or his finances, but like who the hell want to go around just giving out 1500 Not even me. So it's, it's going to work. And even though I sat and said the three-hour situation, guess what? I'm getting on another session with him tomorrow to fix something that we weren't able to fix on the plan. I don't leave people on stuck. I don't. <sighs> the number is in there, guys. You can text two on one. To that number or you can text one on one to that number and even though i boosted it up to 2500 this week for those of you who are on who are here live i know your names i know your names so if you're watching this as a replay you don't get this you don't get this discount because i have to train y'all to start showing up live because we gave y'all a head heads up like multiple posts told y'all what time we was going live if you were at, at work i'm sorry okay so for those of you who are on here now, I'm going to give you the same deal I gave Justin, all right? The same deal I gave Justin, which is the three-hour setup session, not just talking. We're setting up 
campaigns, we're setting up partnerships, we're doing everything, we're plugging it all in, pause, okay? Three hour setup session with me. Text that number. This will be the last few months I'm doing this personalized stuff because I have to go and build a school. So this, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help y'all. So text that number, two on one or one on one, and we will schedule your set up session. That way you can stop going through the course, crossing your fingers, hoping that you get it to click. You might have been through 10, 15 different courses and it still haven't clicked yet. Well, let, let me do this. This is what I do. If I can't figure something out, I go and pay somebody to do it. Somebody that already figured it out. I barely, I barely know how to freaking do my own oil change. Well, technically, I'm in Panama now. I have a driver. I don't, I don't even have oil no more. But when I was driving, I like, I barely even know how to do that. But guess what? This is what entrepreneurs do, so that we can speed things up to the good parts, the things that we don't really want to do or don't necessarily have to do or figure out. Why would I go and Google or YouTube? This is my car model and make. How do you do an oil change on this? How do you change the alternator on it? When it's a shop right down the damn street just to uh, save a couple dollars. So why would you guys keep buying more courses, getting on more webinars when you can get straight to the good parts, get on a one-on-one -on -one or two-on-one -on -one session and we finally get this set up for you guys. All right, so Joshara, I'm happy you made it on. She said, I may, uh, maybe I came in late. Don't see it. Yeah, yeah, came in a little late, uh, but it's okay. Uh, this is recorded. This is being recorded right now, and it will be reposted to the group. But guys, like I said, uh, it's no joke. I promise you. I'm pulling the Ty Lopez December 30th. I'm not pulling the Ty Lopez. I'm still going to be around, but I won't be doing personalized coaching no more. It won't be me no more, which is like, which sucks because I love that part. But what I, I need to do is grow the school. This school needs to be in Boston, Los Angeles, Louisiana, some damn where all over the place. It needs to be in Texas. It needs to be over here in Panama, where the hell I'm at. I can't do that the way that I'm rolling right now, okay? Mark says, as far as those leads, we take them to other companies and leverage them. Do we sell that lead off? And if so, at what price point? Mark, when you're selling leads, you want to get your profit and you want to add on top of that. So if the lead came in at 12 bucks, you want to make sure you're charging over 12, okay? Me, as a rule of thumb, I just double. So I would sell that lead for 24. That way I got my 12 back and then I got an extra 12 on top, okay? So now keep in mind, like I said, guys, since you already paid for those leads, if you're not like thirsty or something, you don't have to sell them. You can find one of those party bus people in that city that got real good reviews. They got good traffic. Go and spy on them a little bit. And then I would smash them with those leads that you already paid for. Give them to them. Just give them to them. They're going to be able to close some of them. And then you can, you can hit them up and be like, yo, there's more where that came from. And guess what? I'm not a marketing agency. I want to partner with you. I want to be a part of your business. And you will be able to get endless amounts of those. And you never have to pay me a monthly retainer. You don't have to sign any like, like legally binding, like real type contract type stuff. I just want to be able to pro get profit share and later on be able to earn your trust in order to be able to earn a little bit of equity. But until then, we're going to get you more locations. We're going to enlarge your fleet. We're going to decrease overhead decrease unnecessary like expenses and all of that. And we're going to increase profits, all of that. And you don't even have to sign some monthly retainer with me. What do you think, sir or ma'am? When can we get started? That's what I, to be honest with you, that's literally what I would use those leads for. Like I would not even go, you know, I wouldn't even try to like sell them. I would take those leads and I would blast every last one of those partners with those, those leads that you already have. And then I will come back next and I would create a partnership with them. But the, the good thing about it, man, and women that are on here, you're not going to have to come back next week. I've yet to do this method and not have them sell themselves to me. Because just by you tossing leads at them and getting off the phone without asking for nothing, it's kind of like you just going and dropping a thousand dollars on somebody's table and walking off. They're going to get up and like, hold on, hold on. Who are you? 
like, yo, yo, thank you, but who are you? Like, they want to know why. Like, they want to, what's this blessing for? Like, you know, like, who the hell are you? I might need you later on or something, right? <laughs> I need you in my contact list. And that's literally, if you think about it, that's what you're doing. You're literally dropping a few thousand on their table and walking off. So now they're going to look at their caller ID. They're going to text or call you and be like, yo, um, the other day you called me with some information about a gig. Um, I actually booked that. Who are you? Boom. No more sales needed. Like Samantha just said, hashtag yes, Lord. No such thing as competition. I'm trying to create lethal entrepreneurs out of you guys to where in any situation, you will be able to make money no matter what. I don't care if you didn't get to close those leads that came in from Thumbtack. Guess what? You can still monetize those leads. You can still reach out to them same leads and say, hey, if you pay this price today, when your cousin's birthday come up, I'm going to get him $200 off. How many of y'all did that? Now it makes sense for them to pay what you asked for. Don't forget, I'm going to give your entire lineage 10% 10, 10 off when you book today. Your entire lineage. When your grandma dies, we'll cover the, the funeral. When your sister get married, we got the limo for that, right? And then when she get divorced, we got the black car service to take her to the lawyer. <laughs> All right. So uh, Osama said, hi, David. There is any way to implement AI in our service? Yeah, there's plenty of ways to implement it. I mean, every website has uh, API. You know, you can look at some YouTube situations and all of that. That ain't really what I, I major in or anything. There's some some automations that I'm going to give you guys. But, but as far as that goes, you don't really need all that stuff. Like, I mean, what do you need it for? Especially when you jump over the agency to partner program. It's not like I'm teaching you guys to do a lot of outbound prospecting because you're not trying to get clients. So you don't really need all of that. Automation, okay. AI, I mean, remember, Thumbtack has his own autoresponder. It's some AI cold calling software. But what do you need that for? You're not, you're not trying to get any clients. I get some chat bots and stuff. Like I can show you that, but that's like in, in, in Builderall and that's simply just to automate, you know, when the leads come in, for the party bus booking and stuff. But other than that, like, you got to be specific. What type of AI are you talking about? Okay. All right. Let me see something, guys, before I go. Need to make sure that you guys have everything you can have. Make sure you guys are, well, it should all already have your policy pages at the bottom of your party bus pages. Hold on. Somebody's asking about that. Policy page is at the bottom of the party bus site. And is in the, um, guys, when you're inside the course, look above or below the videos. They got files, links, content, those three different tabs. Check those. That's where I put any like links that, that will take you to where you need something. That's where you can download files and documents and different things that you might need. All right. Uh, <clears throat> code email sucks, Samantha says. And calls suck most of the time. Everyone does that and it needs to be better. Talk. Oh yeah, it needs to yeah. Yeah, they, they don't talk that good. You know, they got a couple of them that are decent now, but it still starts rambling after a while, or it might answer the question before the person asks it, and then they hang up and all of that extra stuff. So I mean, yeah, I I give a, you know, I give it a like maybe a couple more months before AI is really where it it needs to be for marketing agencies and stuff. But like I said, guys, I teach you something completely different. I don't teach you the abundance of, of freaking clients. I teach you to get one or two partners, maybe, and scale that to six figures, okay? So Osama says, I saw that you were talking in YouTube about a chat bot that can reach out uh, to people on Instagram and in tag.com using it. Dang, boy, he went back. <laughs> Woo, boy, yeah. That is iMacros. That is iMacros. And you can simply have, yeah, that's way back. Yeah, that's way back. You can simply have, uh, go to Fiverr, type in iMacros and have one of those Fiverr dudes create, you know, a little journey for you. Like, you know, tell them the steps that you want the, the, the bot to take. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I want the bot to take this email, open up Gmail. So, so, so back first, the bot is going to open up the CSV is going to take the email from the CSV, it's going to open up Gmail, and then it's going to paste it in that, paste in the subject line, 
and then it's going to paste in the body. Then it's going to press send. Then it's going to wait three minutes. Then it's going to come back to that file, take the email, do that again. So we had those guys so that we wouldn't get, when we were doing cold email, this is before instantly and all of that stuff started coming around. So we wouldn't end up in the spam folder so that um, Gmail wouldn't pick up like on like the frequency in which we were like sending out the cold emails. This was where it made it look more human where it would send emails one at a time based off of a couple minutes or five minutes or 10 minutes it'll pause and then it'll reactivate and do all of that. And it could be running in the background while I'm doing stuff with y'all, right? And it could just be sending out all emails all freaking day and stuff without getting blacklisted, all right? But we don't do that no more because you don't need to. Like, dog, that was back when, you know, I was teaching you guys to get a million people. You need to sign, you need to get a million and people to pay you this much and do all this extra you don't need all that you can literally call your cousin who has a salon right now say cousin i'm about to do this agency to partner thing with you i'm about to plug in 10 monetization methods you don't even have to start with a budget yet if your cousin has been in business three to four years or even over a year they have a hefty email and sms list of people who have previously <clears throat> been customers with them, paid them money. And the easiest thing you can do is get money from people that already gave you money before. Most of y'all have been in multiple multiple of my courses. It's way easier to convince somebody that trusted you before to trust you again than to trust somebody new. So you get their email. See, I'm giving y'all stuff. There's an agency to partner program. That's not even one of the free courses. Anyway, I'll get y'all this because I don't lock up the knowledge like that, right? So. You, you get their SMS and their email list from them and you send out a reactivation campaign. Hey, your hair is jacked up. I saw you on Facebook. Come in and I'm going to give you 10% off. <laughs> don't say that, y'all. Don't, don't say that. I'm just giving you an example. All right. <laughs> so when they come in, what you have agreed to with your cousin that has this salon is that without me, you wouldn't even be making this money. So whenever these new people come in, you give me 20% of what you're going to make. So now you got. 10 to 20 people that just came in out of nowhere that was just minding their business and you just got that money right there. A week later, you take that same email list that come from your cousin instead of you going to create an email list, all right? And you take that same SMS list. Now you go to Amazon. Now you go to a CPA network. You find hair-related products, CPA offers and affiliate offers. And now you blast out those offers to that email list and SMS list. Hey, you came in last week. I'm happy you like your hairdo, all right? But you might need to uh, spritz it up so it will last longer. So click right here. I got you a discount on this. I don't know what type of sheens and all of that extra stuff. I don't know. I'm just giving y'all an example. So now you're making affiliate and CPA money off of a local business. They don't know nothing about that stuff, okay? And you can literally just program that to happen every couple of weeks from their email list. And this is before you even start enhancing the business with new customers. That's something that you can plug in today and get money the same day from a company you just met. So guys, listen, you don't need clients. You don't need a lot of partners. You just need a brain. You just need to follow instructions. I've made it as simple as I can. And for those things that you can't understand just in a course or just in a group, those are the things that I actually help you set up on a one-on-one -on -one or two-to-one sessions. So basically, as the scripture said, I'm at your service. The reason why I can sell so good because is because I'm not prideful. I understand that my job is to be a servant. My wife asked me, actually a couple people asked me, how do you become the greatest salesman or saleswoman of all time? So we'll look at we'll look at Grant Cardone, we'll look at Jordan Belfort, and we'll say, hmm, they might be the greatest salespeople of all time. No, the greatest salesperson of all time was Christ. And the reason he was the greatest salesperson of all time, he had the best irresistible offer ever. And he brought proof with him. He can actually demonstrate what he said he can do. He sold people the kingdom, something that still hasn't came physically to earth yet. And they gave over their lives to him. 
literally in most cases, like death, like literally. Imagine that. But the only reason he was able to do that is because he said, those that are greatest among you shall be the least. So no matter how wise I am, no matter how much experience I have in business, how much money I make or whatever, I'm supposed to come to y'all, pause and serve y'all as if you're greater than me. Whoever is chief is among you, let him be the servant. Okay. So I'm here. That's why I'm giving my time. I'm giving everything that you guys asked me for. But if you don't take action, I can't be to blame. Just like he was here. He literally showed how we're supposed to walk in truth. And they left a manual behind. So if your butt still end up in hell, who's the hell? Whose fault is it? Okay, then. Exactly. So much has been left behind. Prophets. Every time he sent a prophet here to try to tell us something, we say, shut the hell up. And we stone them to death. And then we go back to praying saying, I wish you would send me a sign. <laughs> Freaking crazy people. Anyway, I ain't going to get to preach. Okay. All right. Uh, Samantha said, thank you for everything you do. You are awesome. And guys, get in with him and pay attention to him. Don't take him for granted. He has the truth. All praises to the most high God. Uh, the most high has the truth. And I appreciate that. But guys, that's what I'm here for. But I'm not going, I'm not going to pitch, pitch. I'm not going to sell, sell. We put the number in there. If you have yet to make your first monies with either program, pivot or get a session and get it over with. Rip the Band-Aid off. Make you some damn money.